What's good, e-bikers? So let's talk about e-bike power delivery options today. It's kind of an e-bike 101 uh, tutorial, if you will. When you buy an e-bike today, it comes in basically three combinations. You got a mid-drive torque, you got a uh, hub motor torque, and you got a hub motor cadence sensor. So let's get into it. I'll tell you the differences and why you should care next on Crisscrossed. <music> All right, so in front of me are three e-bikes. We have a Electric XP Lite, we have a Velotric ST1, and the V-Volt Centauri. So the Centauri is a mid-drive e-bike, and uh, the motor is down here instead of in the hub. And it features a torque sensor, okay? Velotric is a hub motor e-bike. There's the motor back there. Uh, I think it's a 300 watt, 350. This comes with a torque sensor, uh, which is basically installed on the pedals, on one side of the pedal, I think it's over here, down there. And then this electric XP Lite is a hub motor featuring a cadence sensor, okay? So those are the three types of general combinations you're gonna get when you buy an e-bike today. Uh, there's one exception to that, which I think is, uh, some e-bikes can come with both a cadence sensor and a torque sensor. And we're getting to the differences of those, but I think the Juiced e-bikes, uh, my friend has a Juice Rip Current, and he can switch between the two in terms of the uh, uh, the type of pedaling you want to do. So let's get into the differences between uh, cadence versus torque, and then hub motor versus mid-drive. All right, so the main difference between cadence sensor e-bikes and torque sensor e-bikes is how they determine how much assistance to provide the rider. So cadence sensors simply detect whether or not the rider is pedaling. As soon as the rider starts pedaling, so on this electric SP light right here, the motor turns on and provides assistance at a predetermined level or predetermined speed. The harder the rider, uh, the harder the harder the rider pedals, the faster the bike goes. But the motor does not provide more assistance if you pedal harder. Torque sensors are the opposite of that. Essentially, they measure how hard the rider is pedaling and adjust the amount of assistance accordingly. The harder the rider pedals, the more assistance the motor provides. And that creates a more natural riding experience as the rider feels like they're in control of the bike. So you feel much more one with the bike uh, when you're pedaling a torque sensory bike like that orange Velotrick there. And just kind of, you know, uh, the differences between the cadence and the torque sensor. So in terms of how it works, cadence sensor detects whether or not the rider is pedaling. Torque sensor measures how hard the rider is pedaling again. The ride feel on the cadence sensors can feel a little more jerky and artificial because as if you just turn the pedals, it automatically turns the motor on. Whereas torque sensors give you a more natural and responsive ride. Uh, and battery efficiency. So cadence uh, sensor e-bikes are less efficient as the motor is always providing assistance at the same level. Whereas torque sensor e-bikes, the more they're more efficient because the motor is providing assistance as needed. And then generally speaking, uh, cadence sensors cost less than the other torque sensor e-bikes overall. Now let's talk about mid-drives versus hub motors. So I kind of grew up on hub drives. This V-Volt here is my only mid-drive at the moment. And um, I've ridden a lot of mid-drive e-bikes and, you know, they generally, generally speaking, they come in on expensive e-bikes, more of the, you know, thinner tire ones. You don't see too many fat tire e-bikes with mid-drive motors, although they're out there, but... Um, Mid-drive motors are located in the center of the e-bike, uh, between the pedals, as you can see there on the, the V-Volt. Uh, they power the bike through the drivetrain, so just like you do while you're pedaling. They apply torque to the cranks, which then turns the uh, chain and the rear wheel. Hub motors are built into one of the wheels, typically the rear wheel, like you see right there. Hub motors are built into one of the wheels, the, the rear wheel, like you see here on the Velotrick Thunder. Uh, they provide directly power directly to the wheel they're built into, and they apply torque to the wheel itself. So if you're looking to summarize the key differences between mid-drive and hub motors, mid-drives are in the center of the bike, hub motors are in the wheel. Power delivery is through the drivetrain on mid-drives and directly to the wheel on hub motors. Uh, the torque on mid-drive motors is higher, and it's lower on uh, hub motors. Uh, mid-drives are more efficient. Mid-drives cost more. And they're also heavier as well. And they do require more maintenance too, uh, whereas hub drive motors are, 
are less maintenance required and then are lighter overall for the e-bikes. Mid-drive motors are generally considered to be the better type of electric bike motor. Uh, they offer a number of advantages, including you know, higher torque. Uh, Mid-drive motors produce more torque than hub motors, which make them better for climbing hills and carrying heavy loads. Uh, they're more efficient. Uh, Mid-drive motors are more efficient than hub motors, which means that you can, can ride longer distances on a single battery charge. I mean, that, that V-Volt there is a 36-volt, 10-amp hour, and you can get about 30 miles on that. Uh, although this one here, the uh, Velatric, is a 36-volt, 13-amp hour, and I can go 37 miles on that. So uh, the bigger the battery is really where uh, you get more range, I think. Um, and mid-drive motors give you a more natural feel. So it's just more of a, a natural riding experience versus hub motors overall. And that's why you see a lot of uh, mid-drive motor e-bikes uh, preferred by, you know, kind of regular road bicyclists, I think. Uh, hub motors are less expensive, less maintenance. Uh, you know, maintenance-wise in hub-drive motors, you're looking at, you know, the greasing inside of there for the gears. Because those gears are nylon most of the time, and they kind of wear down. But, uh, you know, which type of electric bike motor is right for you depends on your riding needs, I think, and, and your budget, of course. You're going to find the mid-drives more on more expensive e-bikes, you know, two, three, four, five, six thousand dollars $6,000. If you're looking for an e-bike with the best performance and ride quality, a mid-drive motor is the considered the best, generally speaking. But if you're like me, if you like more affordable options out there and uh, you just want to be pushed uh, rather than kind of pulled, uh, I do prefer hub-drive motors just from a more fun experience overall so that's kind of a look at uh, the differences between cadence and torque sensors mid-drive and uh, hub motor e-bikes love to hear your comments guys what do you guys think what do you prefer mid-drive hub motor and why put them in the comments and i'll see you next time on crisscrossed